Right, so unfortunately, these are gonna have to stay in. Yeah, and they ain't coming out, it's not worth it. I don't wanna crack the bath. I've been defeated on this occasion. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Life of a Jobbing Plumber. In this episode, we've got a varied range of jobs as usual back to the jobbing days. You have to let me know whether you guys prefer this or installs or one-off jobs, etc. But as usual, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Do it now before you forget. And consider, subs <laughs> consider subscribing, it's absolutely free. Also, if you put a comment down below, I'll do my very best to answer every single one of you. Catch you on the next one. So I wasn't gonna film this job, but <laughs> this is the type of stuff you gotta come up, come up against when all I'm here to do is change these taps for lever ones because the customer's elderly. I've had to dismantle all this box in here. There's a trim come off here. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's as high as I can get the panel, which is enough just to uh, get onto stuff, I hope. But like I said, this is, this is what it's up against in uh, this plumbing game. Now then, these basin ones, I don't know if you can see, but they've been putted in. Now, that normally, though, well, that does set rock hard. And it can make it a pain to get them out, so wish me luck on that one. And hope the basin doesn't break <laughs> when trying to get them out. Famous last words, touch a bit of wood. Got the box banner on, and that box banner on. And they ain't for budging, so... <laughs> I'm going to try and warm it up with a blow lamp, just see if it'll soften up. If not, I'll have to try and multi-tool the nuts in half. It's a risky game when you start playing with old it's stuff. I mean, it's peak silly season now, I'm here. Walking around with taps. <sighs> oh, man. Well, tickling it with a blow lamp for about 30 seconds on a low flame. Just warm that brass nut up. Softened it enough to get off. Now that trick will work on the basin, but this is a fiberglass bath. So I'm not sure what I'll do with that yet. But at least get the basin one done then. Basin taps done then, that's uh, one stress out of my mind. <laughs> People moan about silicone and stuff, but give me silicone over 50 year old putty any day. I've managed to undo the nut, am I even on it, of the hot tap on the bath, which is still solid. The more I try and rag at it, that's the bath moving, not the tap. Get this ground. I might always get this one out even even with the knot. So I've got these diddy little flexes, 150 mil long. Fever make them, but I get them from direct from the supplies. For situations, if I can get it in, just like this. <laughs> right, so unfortunately, these are gonna have to stay in. I've tried warming it up, and I've noticed this little hairline split here, which now I'm rubbing it with mud, it's making it work, well dirt is making it worse, so yeah, they ain't coming out, it's not worth it, I don't want to crack the bath, I was going to have to put them back together again, so yeah, I've been defeated on this occasion, there's knowing when to walk away. So because that was three quarter copper, not 22 mil, I've had to sold a, a 22 to three quarter reducer on it not yeah well coupling and then into reducer for the uh new flexes i've had to put on yes the over long it's all out in the van <laughs> the worst part of this job is like i said the bath panel didn't even need to come off because i couldn't end up didn't end up doing them in the first place 
I'm going to put it all back together again. But, at least she has new taps. And she's quite old, so I don't think she has a bath anyway. I'm going to guess she uses that electric shower up there. Let me put all this back together again. So I'm curious about what anyone else would have done in that situation. I tried getting a knife under it to try and cut off what, whatever was holding it. Uh, the putty or fiberglass, it looked like it had been re fiberglassed underneath. I don't know if that made out on the video. Um, would you have just sacked it off like I did? When I went downstairs anyway, the customer even said, I don't actually use that shower or bath because I've got a downstairs shower. Oh, I wish you'd have told me before I took the panel off. <laughs> Thankfully, I managed to do the basin because she does use that. But yeah, just had to walk away on that. Especially, like I say, when it's gone silly season, the phone is manic and I spend all my time changing a couple of taps. So I've got an ideal standard flush valve constantly running through. Got a pack of washers from the van. There's the cord if you ever need any. Look out about fibre, so you're gonna spin this out of them lugs and spotwise to lift it out. You can turn the water off if you want, you don't need to. Well that's certainly seen better days. That is the issue. Using the platter, we're gonna flick this flick this little cap out of here. You do get replacement ones of them in the pack. There's not a lot left of that, is there? It's like chewing gum. You wonder why rubbers do that. Obviously, may, may know which way around it came off. Push your new one on. And your new cap. One handed pain. There we go. That's a bit of refit in reverse order, obviously. You can see the lugs there. They're going to come onto them lugs. Like so. So that's locked in now. Should turn the water back on. You didn't need to turn it off, but you can hear me better instead of the toilet constantly filling and running into the bowl. That's why I turned it off. Schoolboy error then. I didn't clean the actual seating what this sits on and it had a load of little bits of rubber on so it was constantly running through again. But that's better now. Get laid back on. Job done. So this next one we're replacing a Worcester plug-in mechanical time clock. Now this is an MT10. I paid 72 quid for this, including that from Screwfix. You might be able to get them cheaper. But the customer wanted it pretty imminently before they went on holiday. There's the old one. The times have stopped storing, so it's failed. I don't think you can repair it. So with the case off, you're just going to undo this screw here. Put it in a safe place. Slide this little panel up with the arrow on handily. Obviously, make sure your power's off at this point, safely isolated. Grab the little lug on top, pull it up forward. They'll just wiggle out. That's easier done than said. <laughs> that plug just unplugs there. Then we're going to be checking the part numbers against each other, the new and the old. Although I'm not sure how many models you can get of this. You can get a hot water one, I know that. Oh, it's in hot water as well. Make sure the pins line up with the holes inside the boiler. It will only go in one way, but you could bend the pins if you try to do it wrong. And refit in reverse order. Then we're going to be testing this, make sure it's up and working, and uh, setting the set the time clock settings for whatever the client requires. Nice, easy bread and butter job. I could do these all day. <laughs> right, so this next one we've been called out to. It's a leaking basin waste, and to me, it just looks like the rubber's come out. So I'll pull that out, get it cleaned up, and put it back in again, I think. Is that a worm? How has a worm got up there? What? <laughs> so I was going to replace it, but I've only got an inch and a half in the van, and obviously I need an inch and a quarter. So that's the importance of van stock. <laughs> well, like I say, I'll get this cleaned up. I might smear a bit of CT1 round it before putting it back in and it should be, uh, should be sound. I think it just pushed itself out, to be honest. 
Doesn't look like it's been the right rubber in the first place because someone's hacked away at, oops, hacked away at the uh, things which keep it in. I don't know what you call them, but they've uh, remolded it. Whose wipes do you use now? I've used big wipes, Wonder Wipes, and I'm on the old scram wipes. Um, obviously, each company does different wipes for different things, but although I like to size these and they're very moist, <laughs> sorry, I had to. Um, I still think. Overall, Wonder Whites are my favourite, but let me know in the comments which wipes you use and which you prefer best. Oh, that's not good. It's never glued in. <laughs> Better glue that in now. So that's it back in now. Unfortunately, with it being the wrong boss, it doesn't like sitting in the... With it being the wrong reducer, should I say, rubber. It doesn't like sitting in the box strap boss. So I'll have to uh, tell them to leave it 24 hours before using it. Get paid. <laughs> before it starts leaking, hopefully. Nah, it should be sound. I've been informed that it might actually be this one that's leaking as well. Hopefully it was just that running onto that. So I start at that one being tested now. It's all right to me. By the way, this isn't 24 hours. Oh, no. It's leaking from the strap boss as well. So it's by the looks of that, I don't think it's ever been glued, so I might have to take that off now. Well, I'm going to have to take that off now. So basically, <laughs> they drilled the hole into the st stack too close to this. As you can see, they've munched away at it here. So I've had to pull that out slightly because there's nothing above it. And then the hole that they drilled wasn't central. Just testing it now. You'll have to have a, uh, a van, a van outro of that job. So as you can see, basically, you ever put the strap boss in, in the first place and drilled the pipe with a pilot bit instead of a proper hole saw, it wasn't round. The strap boss wouldn't sit flush against it, against the soil pipe. So I ended up coring a bit out just to make it round. But then I realized that the, <laughs> The hole that they'd done was miles too big, so there was nowhere to, to put my solvent weld glue round to make this strap boss stick to the pipe. So it's still pissed out. So basically I'm going to go and pick up a new strap boss and a couple of fittings, a new rubber, shorten that length, that vent, because basically it's only a vent what's left after that basin outlet, shorten that by three inches, cutting out his old or hers, old strap boss hole, putting a new one in and it should be fine after that. Pain.